In Wednesday's San Jose Mercury News, a San Diegan made a statement that's getting a lot of attention in drought-stricken California. My name's Marty Ralph. I'm the director of the Center for Western Weather and Water Extremes at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. In regard to our recent wet weather, Ralph, a leading expert on atmospheric rivers, told the newspaper that if these storms continue to come on shore for the next two or three weeks, that will end the drought. I asked him about that, and the subject of what we mean by drought came up. I think there's something we could call landscape drought, which is like the, the, the plants and all that growing in the soils and you know the soils themselves. But the deeper groundwater things, that's a long haul to recover that. That's going to be decades of good management and, and you know additional precipitation. It's been a great start to what we call the water year. The National Weather Service's Alex Tardy agrees with Marty Ralph. Now we wait to see what happens over the course of the next couple of months. When it comes to drought ending weather, Mother Nature has tricked us before. We've had those years where we'll get a lot of rain in December, maybe some in January, and then that's it. But Alex Tardy says this time it seems to be different. He says there are not only one, two, not even three, but five atmospheric rivers lined up across the planet headed straight for California. They're actually coming across uh, Europe and Asia and across the Pacific, so, so we can actually track them. Tardy and Ralph say the bulk of that rain is headed to central California, to a parched San Joaquin Valley that desperately needs it. Plus, the snowpack in the Sierra is already 120% of average. Of course, the flip side is concern about flooding and mudslides. But for now, the skies look to bring relief that may end what you might call the surface drought and get us closer to the years-long process of refilling huge reservoirs like Lakes Powell and Mead and recharging the state's depleted groundwater. John Carroll, KPBS News.